It's safe to say, Ben, that you are a very good ball carrier. It's one of your strong points in the game and it's becoming increasingly difficult to do with modern defences. So what are your top tips for ball carrying off nine? Yeah, I think the first important thing that we speak about in England is staying really square. So we talk about um, drawing defenders. So if you just go a bit wider. Yep. So a big thing for us at the moment is starting with our outside foot forward. That just allows us first, that first step's always going to be square at the, at the defender. Say that's the pad. Yep. So as I'm taking that, I'm square here and that gives me opportunity to not only use the ball, but it gives me opportunity to go inside the defender and outside. And we talk a lot about getting one man tackles. So if I can get this man not to tackle me and I get the next man to tackle me, then it's a win for us and, and hopefully gives our speedy wingers on the outside a chance to break the line. So are you trying to get in or out? Which way would you prefer We to preferably be? prefer out. The reason why that is, is because we want to cut out as many defenders as we can yep. on the defensive line. So, you know, if I can get the, the, the next defender, then you know, they might only have four or five left on the open side and you've got the likes of Owen, George, who we've just spoken to, to manipulate defences, give the likes of Elliot, Johnny May, Henry Aaron yeah. all the chance to burn them around the outside. So that's your thought process before you even receive the pass. You've now received the pass. What are your thoughts after this point in terms of getting the ball through? So I think, I think look, most, most attacks now defend attack with pods of three. So you've got yeah, an inside classic. outside option. Um, so most important thing we talk about is keeping the ball in two hands because you know, defences might jam on me and I can pass on the inside, can pass on the outside or pass out the pass back. back yeah. um, so like I said, if I bounce out, if I come out here, then you, I know you're there. If I see this defender jam on me, I can just lift it to you into and, and into that space. Again, cutting out defenders, keeping speed of ball going, that, that kind of thing. So knowing your channel as well then, is it equally important, not just for the ball carrier, but for the outside player to adjust to your movement. So if yeah. you bounce out here into this space, I'm not coming back into the same hole as you. Exactly. I'm trying to track and see where you're going. And that comes with time, I suppose. So we talk about, well, we spend a lot of time in it, but we spend a lot of, talk a lot about time about our three all staying square, staying. Okay. So if I move out, you move out with me. And right. it's about knowing your players. So for example, Courtney, for example, Courtney Laws will likes to step back in. So that's a really good opportunity for me on the inside of him. Courtney steps back in, I've yeah. got to follow his line. Okay. Whereas Billy, might be slightly different. Billy likes to use his feet a little, lot more, catch the ball earlier, and then you know, use his footwork, face. bounce out. So you might stay a bit wider if Billy's there. So it changes from player to player, but we talk a lot about being connected, not yeah. only in defence, but in attack, you know, bouncing out, bouncing in. Perfect. Finally then, you've got all the way to the tackle line. You're all the way up here. What's your key process for trying to get your hands free and get an offload in behind? Well, I think again, every player is different. I, I like to use my, my hand off, um, use my height. So a big thing for me actually is I don't tend to carry a lot upwards. I like to it's use my height. Right. I'm not the tallest. So I like to burrow down. A lot of people aren't that comfortable tackling with players running at their hips. Okay. So we talk about carrying at the crease of the body, which is your hip line. So I'm down here, I'm down here, I'm down here. If I can make half a break, you yeah, know, you're, th you're then practising your offload skills. And, and two hands on the ball throughout that? Ideally. It, it, ideally two hands, it doesn't always work that way, especially if you know, you've, you've got here, you've used your fend and then you're there or there. Yeah. Um, but again, it's something we spend a lot of time practising and you know your players that can do it and you know your players yeah, that can't. Course. For the likes of Joe Marler, you know mostly he's going to be carrying really hard, so it's actually really easy to him to, to latch on. Whereas okay. again, with Billy, Marrow, the lights offload, use their, use their arms. So yeah, it varies from player to player. But like I said, using your weapons, knowing what your strength is. So my strength is winning into that hole. Yeah. and then try and lift the ball out the back of that. It's interesting, it's such a personal process for each player and understanding how your teammates work is equally as important as doing it yourself. Yeah. And I know it's you said, you use your height. Like it's interesting, people usually think use your height, you've got to be tall around mm. that, but you use your height as a smaller stature to get in between defenders. Well, I think, yeah, I think that's it. I think the game is being played lower and lower to the of ground. Course, yeah. um, and that can only benefit like the players of likes of myself, Tom Curry, Sam Underhill, you know, we're not the tallest guys, but we've got this low sense of gravity and, you know, winning. We talk about if I can, if I can get tackled, this is the defensive line. If I can get tackled and get a breakdown here, that's that's a win in for behind, us. They can't fold. Defenses are yeah. retreating. It's 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 a lot easier for it's us. It's interesting because you think big ball carry. You just want someone to be big, especially in modern day yeah. defenses. But it's about having that maneuverability, yeah. especially off edges when the defense is coming so hard. Exactly. Exactly. Really interesting stuff, mate. So that's the full detailed process of before you even receive the ball, catching it, and then getting in behind the defense, Ben. I really appreciate it, mate. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Appreciate Cheers. it.